All right, so the next step is we're gonna go ahead and tack weld our main frame, main outer frame together. So as you can see here, I have my whole outer frame laid out. I've added my B pieces to the, to the pile. So we have our, our A pieces, our B pieces, and our C piece. Um, at this point, you should have all necessary light and wiring holes cut. As you can see, if you are going to have the work light LEDs for your, the top of your rack, you're gonna have to have these wiring holes cut as I did in the last step. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to tack weld this together. Um, so the best way to get a nice flush weld surface on here is to use a vice grip when you put your joints together and clamp it on the seam. That makes them the same level. So when you weld it and grind off your weld, you have a nice flat surface here that doesn't look like there was a weld. It's just totally seamless. So um, I'm here I'm tacking my A piece to my B piece. Make sure your seam's on the inside. It should be if you cut your pieces correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp this. And when you clamp it, you're gonna to wanna to have an eighth inch gap. So see, there's a, there's a small gap right here. And then on all of these, all of these seams that you're gonna be welding together, you're only gonna tack the inside at this point. So go ahead and vice grip your two pieces together. Probably a nice eighth inch gap between the two. And then um, go ahead and do two tack welds on the inside. So, um, got that one done, and then you're just going to go ahead and move around the rack, tacking all the pieces together. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling um, and do that. You guys can watch the process if you, if you got it. Just go ahead and skip the rest of this video.